Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny Channel. Today I am going to teach car rental system project using PHP and MySQL with Ajax. I, I open the PHP Storm editor in order to write the code. Uh, here first I am going to create the project file, new project. Here I am going to create the project name as car rent. I just project name I have created as car rent, right? So click OK. This is your project name, right? Now what I'm going to do is here. First, I'm going to create the files, right? So first, select this folder, right click, new, file. This one should be, I'm going to name it as uh, index.php. After the second, I'm going to create another page. This one should be, sorry, new, PHP file here I'm going to second one I'm going to create the file name as uh, car registration so reg car reg dot php right second one right is uh, php okay now let's do the task right now first what I'm going to do is here uh, uh, here, here I'm going to create the address right so car registration I'm going to first I'm going to write with html start html close the tag after that you have to write add tag after that you have to write a body tag this is the simple structure of html right okay now inside the inside the html i am going to style the bootstrap form so let's go to the google so you have to find the bootstrap one so bootstrap go to the bootstrap website it gets started uh, you will be able to download the the CSS and down uh, JS files okay now uh, um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this one right here this one copy here and paste it okay okay uh, otherwise you, you can download the JS and CSS file and you have to attach uh, you have to create one folder here css and json you can call it here right otherwise you can simply you have to copy and paste the G, uh, css file from this side right or oh, this is a this is coming from the online here this is all the stuff working so this is a js one copy and paste it here control and paste it right you have to copy this one and paste it here inside the head tag right in order to work bootstrap right now what i'm going to do is here after that what i'm going to do is here we have to write the uh, inside the body tag I'm going to design the form first right we have this is uh, important stuff to design the form so first what I'm going to do is here we have to write here we have first to have write uh, div class row open and right now here inside the disk view I'm going to write the uh, I have created the two divs right this one I'm going to name it as class Right class uh, call small four. Not right like this. Second div, I'm going to create this one. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. This one should be eight. Right, this is the thing we have to write. Okay, this thing simple stuff we have to write. This one should be the form design. This one should be the table, right? J table, right? So, uh, data table. Now, here, first, what I'm going to do is here you have to create the simple form. So we have to first we have to form we have to write the form design here. So you write start with form ID. This one should be car registration ID class name right. So we have to create the form like this. Inside the form I am going to create the uh, div div. Here we have to this one should be align left this one should be i'm going to write the heading h3 car registration right after that what i'm going to do is we have to write the form design right so the car div uh, we have to do align left so right here is label First label you have to write is a car 
uh, we have to write first label we have to write car registration number so car registration number car reg number we have to write the registry car registration number okay so here we have to write the input field input type text dot id car number name car number placeholder car number this field is required that's it the same thing you have to control c to copy control v to paste below this one should be second one should be the make this one should be the make of the car make control c to copy control v to paste here this one should be control c to copy control v to make third one should be same thing control c to copy control v to paste here this one should be model this one should be model control c to copy control v to paste here control v to paste here model right after that same thing control c to copy control v to paste here this one should be available this one should be available right now here we have to instead of the text box i am going to write the combo box here so that you have to write select uh, you have to write select you have to write uh, class you have to write form group you have to write the form group form form control you have to write form control on this one form control control right you have to write like this id you have to write here is uh, this one should be a a b l here we have the a b l you have to write the id so you have to uh, name also a b l right this is the thing you have to write uh, the, uh, this is the thing you have to write now here uh, uh, option you have to write the option option we have to write here is a pre-select right that's it that's the thing we have to write right here okay this is the thing we have to write here after that we have to write the button so you have to write the button here so that the same div control c to copy control v to paste this one should be button i'm going to select the right right side we have to write so we have to write we have to we need two buttons so we have to write button type button id this one should be save class btn uh, btn uh, this one should be success right so on click but on click you have to write add car on click, on click method add car you have to write like this you write here is add that's it after the same thing you have to control c to copy control v to paste here this one should be there here uh, this add this one reset Yeah, this one should be the reset so here here also you have to write reset this one should be the you have to write warning uh, warning you have to this one warning right that is simple form you have to design so let's save save all now let's check current current okay you have to write the this php page car reg dot php car reg dot php you have to write like this the simple form you have to it, it, it didn't take any uh, bootstrap style that's why it, it show like this okay what i'm going to do is here we have to write this one as a here we didn't uh, do the bootstrap this one but right here the form controller this one form control this one control c to copy this form control uh, you have to paste here all the text box fields here to paste it this one should be your basic form control here also form control you have to paste it and here also label also class form label this one should be the bootstrap label right. that's the thing we have to write the same thing control c to copy 
kind of little paste here as well. They're also well. That's the thing. I didn't uh, add that boost lab. That's that's what the problem, right? Uh, now let's check whether it's working fine or not. Ah, uh, here the here the I didn't paste the, the bootstrap style here. That's 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 the problem here. This one CSS also didn't link it. Copy and paste it here. Sorry. Let's copy. We have to paste it here. Right now it's working fine. Say about right. I didn't add the boost styles. So this is the style we need to write for the bootstrap run, right? So we have to save all. Now let's refresh it. Now your style has been applied successfully here. This is your style has been applied successfully. Now here we have to write uh, two things here. Uh, here you have to write two things. Have to write control C to copy, control V to paste here. This one should be option available. So this one should be yes available yes another, another thing is a uh, no control c to copy control v to paste this one should be no right you have to write like this so let's copy paste save all and check yes no perfect we done the design successfully now we, we need a uh, here we need a break statement for break this time now let's control s to save now let's check here we need a space a space, space here working fine right now it's working fine now let's first one i'm going to teach how to add the records into the database right so what i'm going to do is here back to my database i already uh, installed the sam server in my machine you have to type localhost localhost like this here php my admin right here you have to create the database here so i am going to create new click new and create the database is car rent the database name right car rent first one should be the car registration car reg it consists of how many columns only one two three four columns we need that uh, with id column so five column we need it right car registration id also we need it right click okay right this one should be id this one's car registration id with primary with auto incremented this one should be car number car number car registration number this car number this one should be watcher car number should be watcher after that make should be watcher model should be watcher here available a v a l should be you have to check it as a watcher only okay we have to simple so this is these are the columns there perfect we have created the things well now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the json to work with the uh, i am writing the jquery to add the records into the data database here with ajax so inside here inside the div first i am going to do the stuff is first i am going to go to the uh, jquery library so here simply you have to go here you have to type w3 school jquery jquery get started so these are the things we needed right so here jquery cdn this is the web based you have to copy this one j um, jquery min.js right so copy this one and you have to back to our project you have to paste it otherwise you go to the relevant website and download the j jquery min.js and js files in order to run, uh, run the application right yeah, this one needed after that we have to write the script script open and close bracket inside here we have to write the code right so first time i'm going to write the code here is uh, we have to write first you have to write here is you have to create the variable var is new equal true 
we have to write here is function how does that you have to write function this function should be this function when when the form is filled click add button it goes to this function control c to copy control v to paste car add function here we have to write the code for that so we have to write here is uh, here to write here if dollar sign we have to write here form value successfully here to write right this one what is a form id this is a form id this all the things we have to get it here this is a form id here car rich control c to copy control v to paste here dot valid 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 if it is valid now here what i am going to do is here you have to write open and close bracket you have to write you have to write var then make the variable url variables url equal after that var data equal after that var method equal after that you have to write if is new equal equal true mean you have to write here is we have to send into the particular url to add the data into the database url to send the url to add the data into the database so we have to write php which page you have to add the record p go to the php page uh, we have to create add car add car add car add car add car you have to write add car okay that add car dot php you have to create this page later so after that you have to write the data we have to serialize all the form data so uh, we have to this all form data we have to serialize this is a form id this form id consists of all these form values right so we have to serialize the complete complete form so we have to get the form id here dot serialize me all the data should be serialized right you have to serialize uh, serialize so serialize you have to write serialize serialize okay you have to write serialize right perfect right that is the thing you have to write here uh, after that you have to write here uh, method you have to write method we call post you have to post the data to which page this page okay this is the page you have to visit right that is the stuff you have to write after that we have to write the else part this one should be the edit code we will uh, write later on this stuff okay now here after the else we have to write here is you have to write the ajax code you have to write the ajax code you have to write here dot ajax ajax you have to write the ajax code here right close bracket you have to write the ajax close right here the ajax code simply you have to write the ajax code like this simply you have to write first type this method post comma url equal this url control c copy control v to paste here comma data type data type so json json after the data data this data this data right okay this is the thing you have to write after that you have to write the ajax success function below so we write success function data open and close bracket here okay, if is new equal equal true mean what happen is here alert car added car registration successful car registration successfully registration 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 success else else you have to write the update part later on right you have to write update part later on right that's the thing you have to write that is the only thing we have to write the stuff right after at the records we have to clear the form you have to set it here as the same form control c to copy control v to paste here we have to write here have to write the zero dot reset 
reset you have to call the reset method here that is the stuff we have to write okay now let's check whether it's working fine or not right we have to write let's check whether it's working fine or not this simple code you have to try it right right now let's simply you have to save the save all save all now, now let's go here the browser Oh, sorry here we 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 didn't complete this task S go to the card select the card folder i have to make the folder php folder okay, this one php folder inside the php folder you have to write the file called this file we didn't write add card this one this file to add the records control c to copy this one to paste it here you have to select the file which file dot php here you have to write the code for that page before you have to write here open and close bracket now here i am going to write the code here you have to write here server name equal you have to write localhost after that you have to write username equal root after that you have to write password equal right after that you have to write a db name db name equal you have to write uh, what is the db name? what is the name you have created the database you have to create the database with current this current this is a database right current so you have to write current after that what i'm going to do is here you have to write here is you have to write the connection you have to, con you have to create a connection object sorry connection variable equal you have to write new my sqli you have to write here is you have to check the connection server name comma username control c to copy control v to paste here comma password control c to copy control v to paste here comma db name control c to copy control v to paste here. We, have to, we have to test out all the stuff right so after that you have to write here is if connection you have to write con connect error if there is anything error you have to write here is die you have to write connection failed connection failed failed all right you have to write here is Right, con connect connection error. Right, this is the thing we have to write. Else, we have to write here is sorry, we have to write here. Uh, right, sorry, we no need else. Now, here we have to write here is after that we have to write if server server request method right request method you have to write request request method request method request method equal equal post for this post you have to write a post right post you have to write here is you have to write you have to create the variable st uh, statement stmt equal you have to write the connection you have to write a prepare statement to write the query right it is a efficient way to write the query for the prepare statement to insert the record into the database so insert into you have to write insert into which table you are going to insert the record car registration table car registration table this is the table you are going to insert the record so this one i am going to copy this one control it paste here you have to specify the columns for prepare statement first one should be the what is the column car number make model available so we have to write car number car number model sorry make make a model second one should be the make model a v l a v l a v a l right 
right this is the fields are there columns are there now I, what i'm going to say i'm going to write as a prepare statement values you have to values you have to write how many columns available one two three four right id should be auto increment we no need to write so here we have to write first question mark you have to write right this is the thing you have to write so now what i'm going to do is here you have to write statement variable here right uh, here write bind this one you have to write here how many things available one two three four so you have to write here is uh, we have to write Four is four, right? The uh, param you have set four here, to, right? So you have right. You have set the this four have to set the parameters. Control C, copy, Control V to paste here. This one should be underscore. This one should be dollar sign. Dollar sign. This also make it as a variable. But you have to write like this. So now what I'm going to do is the same variable you are getting here, and you are when you are posting the when you serialize the form and sending to this page this all the fields are go so this first, first one should be car number right this car number you are getting here and assigned to this variable it goes here it's set 10 put into this column and column and it is inside the record so we have to write here is how to set it here we have to write post method post for the field you are retrieving here car number is a field right first one after that same thing control sheet copy control v to paste here this one four fields make control sheet copy paste control c to copy control v to paste here model this control c to copy control v to paste here right available right now here we have to check all the stuff this one should be make control c to copy control v to paste paste here this one should be model control c to copy control v to paste here after that this one control c to copy control v to paste here right you have to make sure that okay it goes here and add the record into the database finally stuff we have to write here is you have to execute the query so we have to write if statement sorry if statement uh, you have to write dollar sign statement execute call the execute method for this echo one mean add the record into the database echo one else it's echo zero echo zero mean its record should be fail right so this is the thing we have to write finally we have to close the statement so statement you have right here is close right that's it that's a simple stuff you have to do right now let's check when the user select click on the add button is come to this uh, method here is check all the stuff it is goes to this url with this serialize all the uh, field serialize and using the post method you have set here right so let's check whether it's working fine or not save all car registration right car registration number i'm going to write a0001 just like the, like this make your right shift shift we are right shift so right model also shift i just write like this available yes click add button what's the problem i had a problem is is not valid here what is the problem is we have to attach the j jquery uh, validate dot min dot js that's a, that's why it's uh, error should be displayed here now i have already downloaded i forgot to attach this is the file right uh, i have put one folder come in this is the file we have to attach so we have to copy this folder right and we have to back to my project don't worry about that i will attach this uh, folder in my video de description you will be able to download right come and right okay. now this file we have to attach to attach new things right here i'm going to write here you have to write the same thing copy this one jquery part you have to paste it here you have to write here simply script src we have to write here is uh, we have to write uh, src we have to write what is where, where is I have pasted it? Inside the PHP folder I have pasted it, right? It's PHP, you have to write com folder, right? Folder, inside the com folder, there will be the file called jquery min.js, right? This is the file I have attached, right? Simple, right? Now let's check whether it's working fine or not, right? Now let's go here. Now again, we have to refresh it. Now here, car number, I'm going to enter, it, right? One model shift 
shift key available yes click add button car registration success click ok here you will be able to see only the problem is that file right uh, i hope you guys you understood the things well in my next tutorial i'll be teaching the rest of the part of the things right thank you for watching if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching